this new video uh, this in this video basically we'll see how do we apply for the advanced level DCE both for oil and chemical I'll be telling you or basically the process is same for all the three of it uh, be it oil chemical or gas and I've already applied for chemical in this video I'll be applying for the uh, for the oil oil part so once you log into your profile what you find here is DC endorsement GMDSS radio operator you have to go here when you open this in this column you'll find application for DC endorsement for advanced level 2 as you can see I've already applied my uh, chemical DC right now I'll be applying for my oil advanced level DC so you go to application for advanced level DC all the data your name and uh, basically the information that that is already saved in your profile it will be automatically entered here um, and the rest of the details that you find which are missing like the passport number and and on the bottom section the application details you'll be filling all these office applied to is basically whatever MMD you're applying to so that's, I'll be applying to MMD Kolkata so it's gonna be MMD Kolkata over here rank whichever rank you have sailed on and then whatever COC you have <coughs> application type so as it is the first time for me I'm not renewing it or uh, anything else it's the first time that I'm applying it so it's gonna be new now in expiry date you you might uh, have a doubt that what expiry date are we going to enter because the basic DC if you see it's not having any expiry date I just put a random five year date in it because even if I put uh, five year it's not going to be expired for me so all the info once all the information has been filled you can tanker type is required okay sorry tanker type is oil tanker so in this section basically you'll be uh, uh, in uh, filling all the details regarding your address the endorsement will be couriered to this address so you have to be very particular that you do not do any mistakes over here no. advanced firefighting all these uh, all these modular modular course certificates that you are going to up, uh, uh, upload has to be in one particular file now one problem that I was facing that uh, for chemical DC like I've done only one chemical uh, chemical tanker so I entered my uh, details of the vessel and everything when the cargo carried all the details basically that has been asked entered over here uh, select uh, then press continue move on to the next step then eventually when I was about to uh, I mean declare that okay I filled everything generate application number this changes to generate application number once you fill in all the details when I was clicking it it was, it was taking me back to the C service details I don't know why what was the issue and what I did basically in my case uh, I have I had entered all the uh, vessels that I did basically I have done three ships so I had uh, entered the information of all the three vessels that I have done and then when I uh, proceeded after that uh, after entering the details of the three ships that I have done so it didn't take me back to this column again I mean this section again C service details so I had in, uh, after entering all the data when I pressed on uh, this generate application number the application got generated and then eventually I can I could sign and upload and do the uh, rest of the process so that only I am going to do over here as well so after entering all the C service detail this is how it comes like you can cross check from here if you want to edit you can edit from here just from this I'm gonna go continue you can continue I agree so this is now done okay 
once this is done your this uh, application has been generated now either you can click pay now and then uh, straight away do the payment or i'll show you what is the other way to do the payment for such documents so once you have filled in all the information and all you can come back to the space that is the home page select dc endorsement gmdss radio operator once again go to this uh, link pay coc cop fees upload documents and view status once you open this you'll find that your uh, uh, in my case both chemical and oil it is showing so i have to pay the fees for this oil dc and then um, view the data for uh, for downloading the application that i have submitted i can click on view data and then my application will be uh, saved basically i need to download this and uh, then put my signature put the place and then upload it again so that i have done i'll just go for uh, uh, pay fees so you can pay the fees by either of the methods that are that will be provided to you over here so so once you pay the fees uh, in the fees paid date it will be that uh, it will be uh, from pay now to uh, it will automatically change to the date that you have paid on so i've just paid just paid the fees so it's changed now you can again uh, view the submitted data you don't need to do it you've already done it and you have signed your application now i'm assuming you have signed your application and put the place and all on it now you are read, ready to upload all the documents so when you click to upload now you'll get this uh, all the details over here now again if you have not downloaded the application you can download it from here if you print application so basically it will help you download the uh, application just in case you have not done it before you can just put your sign and place and just uh, simply submit it so in my case that I have, I have done it already I will just now start uploading my documents So I have uploaded all the documents, I mean selected all the documents, now I will just have to click on upload files. Before any do uh, upload, uploading any document, you can just go through whatever uh, the instructions have been given for the photograph and the signature image and you can edit your uh, images accordingly and then there on upload it with um, these points uh, have been considered before because if you do not uh, have a look on onto these points so what they'll do they'll basically put and put a remark and then you'll have to upload again again so in order to avoid it you can just uh, go through these points first so when you click on upload files See it's moving it's getting uploaded once uploaded you are, it's, it is ready to be viewed you just go through everything that you have placed your signature and all and like everything is in order so basically whatever you have uploaded everything is in order and and has been uploaded in the right section yes regarding modular courses uh, it is recommended to upload the SID as well here, the advanced firefighting, then your TASCO, LCHS and then your SID. So it is important that you upload your SID, I don't know why, but they have started asking for your SID to be, up to be uploaded along with this. So to be on the safer side and uh, your uh, such that your application is not rejected or being questioned or any queries raised. You just uh, upload your SID as, uh, along with it as well. So what what I have done in my case is I have put my initials, basically my signature, self-attested all the documents that I have uploaded. So just to be on the safe side, you never know the last what. So I have self-attested all the documents that I have uploaded. So once you have done with the uploading of all the documents and all, you can just have a review of your application that is new application received new application received you can see both of it and uh, once approved the application status will be changed to approved and in remarks section you'll get the tracking number for the courier uh, it will take uh, three to four days for uh, for the application to be approved and another, another three to four days for it to reach home so that is why if you ask anyone it they'll generally say it roughly takes around 10 days for dc to get approved 
so both of my applications have been approved and in order to uh, check the status uh, you can log into your account go to DC endorsement view status and you can see approved approved and one of the certificate has been dispatched the other one is uh, I mean I'm just awaiting for the uh, details of the courier and second thing that uh, my application date is 11th and I got a query on 12th 13th I re-uploaded a document and 14th this it has been dispatched so you can say it hardly takes two to three days uh, for the application to be reviewed and another two three four days for it to reach home and regarding where can you check online about your certificates you so you can go to indos checker or you can simply google indos checker so indos checker and indos checker you select copdc endorsement put your indos number and date of birth select search and you'll find all the details regarding the DCs that has been provided generated for you so this is it from the video hope you have gained some information some some knowledge from the video and if in case you liked it you can share it to your friends and people who will be soon applying for the advanced DC till then stay happy stay healthy and keep sailing be the greatest everybody on the face shit i look around and feel like everybody is the fakest i make this every day and i'm impatient hoping one day i blow up from the basement statement the top is so vacant i don't need shit that i think is amazing wait